Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. Today we are doing a full review of my very very cute and very unique Jacquemus Le Chiquito bag in this tiny mini super mini size. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I think it's a mini size. Um, if you follow my channel, you guys know I talk about this little bag quite often because I really really do love it. It despite of everyone else telling you that um, you know, it's not functional, it doesn't really work, it's only for Instagram, whatever. I still think it's super cute and every time I wear it, I, st I just love it. I still think it's a um, really cute little piece to have um, for the price too. I mean, Jacquemus, it's a relatively new luxury brand, but they are really making their way. I think, you know, you can see the impact and, um, you know, how many people out there are using their items. I think I don't think they're known for their functionality of their item, goes for shoes, goes for bags, but you know, there's something about the design, something about the look of their bags um, that makes it really attractive. And I'm all for like unique things, right? I mean, I'm all for classic things too, but um, it's, it, I, I personally do think the design of Le Chiquito is very uh, special and people can uh, recognize it very easily. Um, I'm surprised by how long this bag has stayed trendy and popular. Um, it's still quite, you know, you see it quite often on uh, social media still. Um, there are new medium size is a pretty big hit as well. A lot of people are considering and looking for that bag. They've launched their new Le Bambino line, which is also I have it in my collection. Once I uh, use it more often, I'll definitely do a full on review of it. Um, so yeah, like I, I am very, very surprised by how well they're doing. And um, like I said, I've done the unboxing. I've did a few comparisons of this tiny guy. I've, um, you know, did a what it can fit, but I've never actually done a proper fall on review. So I'll figure I'll use today to do that for you guys in case the mini size is still the one that you're considering. Um, I also did purchase the medium and the large size. I'll link them down below as well for you to see how they're comparing to each other. But I think my favorite is definitely the mini size. It's my very first Jacquemus piece and I still love it to this day. Okay, so uh, let's just start by talking about the wear and tear. So like I said, I have this bag for a year now, I think, maybe under a year. Um, roughly a year now because I used it very often. I have to go back and check out my unboxing video date. Um, but I, since I purchased it, I have to say I've been using it very, very frequently. A lot more, su like surprisingly, how often I would use this bag. And that might surprise you because, you know, I do talk about I have a kid, so I'm going for more functional bags in general. And, you know, it's important that it's convenient, blah, blah, blah. But I, I treat this bag more like a little accessory and I still use it um, in a way that works for me. So I'll show you a little bit how I would normally pack this bag. So like I said, I've been using this bag for um, close to a year maybe, like I have to check the first unboxing video, but um, I, I was just saying like I'm surprised by all how often and um, how often I use it. And even with the frequent use, I think overall the bag is still in great condition. Um, there is no major wear and, wear and tear. The hardware starts to wear a little bit, but again, I, I was not babying this bag whatsoever. I used it in the rain a few times even. In the summer, it does drizzle quite often, so it was caught in the rain. Um, no problem, I mean, just, you know, I just water, I just wipe it off. The hardware starts to chip a little bit. I've just noticed that more recently. It's not like as well coated as your, um, you know, more expensive luxury brand, but overall it's still okay. Um, it was never really in that bright shiny gold. I think it was a little bit of a antique color, like antique sort of coating. Oh, it's more like this. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It's not that super bright shiny gold. Um, the uh, Le Bambino, it's slightly different, but very similar in the color tone, but you can check out my um, comparison video um, for that one as well. The corners are still well intact. The glazing on the bag, I think overall is quite nice. Like I've noticed that in a few of their Jacquemus bag, it's always even and not over, it's not too, too much. And it's always in um, relatively well done. These are made in Italy, I think. 
So I have a tag that says where it's made. I believe it is Italy. The inside of it is quite simple, it's just fabric lined. It's very, very, very tiny. Like it's really small because as you guys can see, it's not only the, the bag itself, it's super tiny, but the way that they designed it, and I think that's how it will look cool because you know, it actually dips in on the edges. It dips in on the, on the side, but not only that, it also narrows up to a triangle. I think the newer one, they try to make it a little bit more bulky so there's a little bit more room inside. Um, I have to check out the new version, but I feel like based on the picture, it looks like they've designed it so there's a bit more space inside. Um, if I get my hands on one, I'll do a comparison video. But this original version definitely has very limited space inside. So. Uh, I will pack it up and I'll show you guys how it looks on me. But overall, I have to say with some frequent use, it's a fairly easy bag. It's in calf, calf leather, um, calf smooth leather. I did scratch it once with my nails one time. So after that, I become really careful because when you try to open, it does, you do scratch the hand, like the, the flap. It's a flap magnet enclosure. So now I use the palm to like open it up and um, just be a little bit more gentle and careful with it. But overall, I didn't really baby it. Um, you know, my daughter, I go out with my daughter with this bag and I don't really, it never really had any major issues. So I will show you guys how I would pack it. I have like five cards here, which I think is pretty standard uh, amount that most people would go out with them. Um, I think the reason why I did use it quite often is once I take my cards out, then I don't really want to have to like transfer the cards back into a heart holder for another bag. So once I got it going, I kind of just grabbed this bag. It's a black and gold combination. And I do find like for most outfits, it works fairly well. So I kind of just like grab it and go with most of my outfits. Um, so the card will just go in the back. It fits perfectly. It almost like it slides in right like at the back there. And then I'll have my keys in there, no problem, because my keys are, are fairly small without the um, key pouch or keychain or anything like that. Just a simple car key, your mask. These are silk masks that I acquired recently. They're actually really, really nice. I would highly recommend going for silk masks. And then you can just fold it up inside. And then you can also squeeze in a tiny hand sanitizer you probably need to purchase those um, container for those specifically, but anyways, let me see. So with a mask, it's like this, but with my tiny hand sanitizer, let me see, I have to put this one down first, maybe. Yeah, just put that one in first. And then there you go. See, surprising, right? Like it's really not that bad. It still holds in almost what I need, except the phone, obviously. The phone will just go in my pocket. And I'll show you guys how this is for look. I think I switched the size of the strap. Usually I like to have the little gold on the strap in the front, but that's okay. That's just a preference thing. I like it to sit just right here. I don't want it too, too high because then the, the handle will be hitting your, you know, your parts, but like, Overall, it does sit just under your chest, like your boobs, I think. I wear a crossbody, and this is how I would wear it. Or, and then obviously if I'm going in the car and out of the car, the hand top handle option is perfect. I grab it like this. It does go through, like you can actually loop through your arm as well. So this works well too. And then on one shoulder, it's okay too, but I just rarely wear one shoulder. Generally, I just put it as a crossbody, like so. And like I said, it does work well. Like I think for me, it does hold essentially what I need to go out with. So I'll show you guys again what's inside. I have the mask, my car keys, car keys, house key, and the mailbox key. And then I have a tiny container for hand sanitizer. And then a bunch of cards. And that's it. 
but still, like, I mean, you obviously, if you want, like, other things like uh, makeup and, you know, all the additional stuff, then this wouldn't work for you, but if it's for something really quick or um, you have a separate bag that you can carry with you, that you don't need it for every, you know, then you can keep that with you, but overall, I still think it holds some stuff, like, very limited, but some stuff, and, um, like I said, overall, like this is supposed to be a full review, so the overall wears and tears, no issue. Um, I wouldn't be too concerned about bathing this bag. Um, I got this for a really discounted price, so I would recommend definitely waiting for a deal on these, but like all luxury brands, price keep going up, so you know, something to consider. Um, and then I personally think it's actually really, really easy to style with things. Um, I know out there a lot of people say these are just for Instagram pictures and things like that. Well, because there's a reason why people are attracted to those things, right? I would say the only other thing is if you do go out with a bag, do expect some stairs and look potentially. I mean, unless you're in a city where everyone wears these bags, but like where I am from, these do look a little, it stands out a little bit when you go out. So, you know, I do attract some looks, but it doesn't. I don't think in a bad way so um, I love it and you know even like I said my friends or my mom who's seen the bag they ask about it they think it's super cute um, I think you know it definitely like as your outfit you don't have to be dressed up to wear this bag another thing is I do put on this bag with just a simple dress sometimes or something really plain and simple and it still works really well. I actually think it works even better on a more simple outfit because then it kind of is that additional touch that makes it a little bit more unique. Um, so yeah, overall I love it, would highly recommend it uh, if you can get a good deal on it. These cost almost the same or even less than a small leather good like then a small little card holder or anything else from other brands so why not i don't see why i don't really see a downside to it other than you know if you're go, ever, you know if you do never see yourself you have to like i know the bottom line for a lot of people is their their bags must hold their phone so if that's a problem for you then it wouldn't work but otherwise i really think people should like you should consider this um, and if you have any questions or if you have a different view on these things, please let me know in the comment below. I would love to see them and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!